Hello YouTube, I'm Tall Man Brad. This is episode 4 of a series where I'm playing Nomad Style with increased wandering hordes and more Zs in the world in general. Today I'm introducing a mod that will allow you to change how often you get loot bags from killing zombies and how long the bags stay in game before despawning. <laughs> Before I start, I really want to say a big thank you to everyone for the support for this series. I am loving reading your comments. Thank you so much. And there are some great suggestions and advice there that I will try to follow. Now on to the mod. Ernesto Ruano commented and said, I would recommend a mod for increasing the loot from zombies so at least you have a better reward after killing so many Zeds in the wild. Loving the series so far. Thanks, Ernesto. And I think this is a good idea because I'm also missing out on all that lovely Horde Knight loot with having no Blood Moons. So the mod is called Zombie Loot Increase and it's by Shuden Calferis. With this mod, you can change the chance of zombies dropping loot bags. By default in Alpha 20, there is a 2% chance of a loot bag from a regular zombie. The mod changes this to a 9% chance, but I'll show you how to edit this to a level that you may prefer. This mod also extends the amount of time that your loot bags remain in your world, which is useful if you have a particularly busy and long horde night and can't get out to collect all the loot bags before they start despawning. And I'll show you how to to change that too. The mod's available from various repositories, but I wanted to introduce you to another great website that has a lot of content for 7 Days to Die, and it's called 7 Days to Die Mods.com. So if you click on the link in the description, you'll be taken to this page, Zombie Loot Bag Increase, and I'm going to choose to download the version for Alpha 20. Down the bottom left hand side here, we can see the little arrow to say that it's downloaded. If I do show and folder, I've been through this several times. In the background here, you can see I've got my mods folder open. So the same path as always, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, 7 Days to Die, and then Mods. And here's the file that I've just downloaded. So I want to give you an example of what can go wrong at this point. Now previously, I would have just dragged that straight into my Mods folder. And then, because I normally check, I would have double-clicked on this and seen that there is something wrong. The config file isn't there. What I actually need to do, I'm going to undo that, is go back to this file, then open this up so I can see the actual mod folder itself. And it's this one here, Z loot increase. And I can check that by double clicking on it and seeing, look, there's the config folder and there's the mod info. So I need to go back one from there. And it's that folder that I need to drag into my mods folder. So how do we change this percent chance of loot drops? Well, if I go into the config folder, we'll see there's a file there called entity classes. And if I open that just with a right click and say edit, I'm using notepad, but you use whatever you prefer. And let's have a look down in the code here. We'll see this first one here is the exclamation there is just giving us some information telling us that the default is 0.02. So that's alpha 20's default of 2% chance of drop and it's in the entity class is the zombie template so I'm assuming that is just regular zombies because if we look further down we can see we've got feral zombies and after that radiated so sticking with the normal zombies that we see in the world there we can see that this mod is changing the value to 0.9 that's roughly 1 in 10, well it's 9 out of every 100 zombies approximately will drop a loot bag. If I want to I can change that to 0 0.25, so that's 25 out of every 100, or 1 in 4 will drop a loot bag, or even if I wanted to I could just change that to 1. And if I put that to 1, that means that every zombie I kill, of the normal type of zombie, not the feral irradiated, will drop a loot bag. That's a little bit much, so I'm going to set that back to what the mod is suggesting, 0.9, just to try that in the game. If it's too much, then I can change it, same if it's too little. Out of the next one, we can see that the feral zombies, so they're slightly harder to kill, you've got a slightly more increased chance of those dropping some loot. Now, I might want that a bit higher. I'm going to say, let's go for a 20% chance of them dropping loot. And then under radiated, even tougher, won't see those till later in the game. Perhaps I also want that higher again. I'm going to say they've got a 25% chance of dropping some loot. So what about the time that the loot bags stay in the world? Now, I'm sure you've all been in a situation where your loot bags start despawning while you're in the middle of your horde night. And it can be a little bit frustrating. It's not that big a deal. It's just a game, but you might want them to stay a little bit longer. So that's where this value here comes in. Now, someone can tell me in the comments if they want to the difference between these two lines of code here. 
entity loot container, dropped loot container, time stay after death, time stay after death. They both seem the same to me. So I think to play it safe, if I was going to change one, I would change the other one to match it. So that's a time in seconds there. So 1,800 seconds, if you divide that by 60 seconds, that's roughly 30 minutes. So that's 30 minutes of real lifetime that your loot bags will stay in the world if you use this mod. Now, by default, I think it might be 15, so it would be 900 there instead. So if you wanted to, you could change that uh, just in multiples of 60, change it to whatever you want. So the loot bags stay that a little bit longer. And I would suggest probably changing this one at the same time to the same value. So once you've made these changes and we're happy with everything, let's just go to file and save. Incidentally, before we go any further, I did say that you can change that to one, and that does work. It means that every zombie will drop a bag, and I've tested that out. But if you change it to two, they don't drop two bags or give you extra loot. You still just get the one bag. Well, in my game, it's moving day. I've unlocked the next trade route, so <laughs> we better get started. So here we are back in the game. And uh, yes, I did get the bike last time. And uh, no, I didn't remember to use it, unfortunately, but I'm leaving it out now. So hopefully I will remember to actually use the bike. And this space is going to be uh, very useful because I haven't got a lot of space. And if we have a quick look, I've got so much stuff that I've accrued. Absolutely loads of things. Um, so I'm going to have to leave some of these things behind uh, and possibly come back for them later uh, when I get the next place sorted out but as you know it's nomad so i don't have a fixed base so this is just a temporary little stop gap um while i got leveled up and while i unlocked the new trade routes so that's what we're doing today uh okay have you got any special jobs well i think you have look at that opening trade routes and it's one kilometer away so that should be outside of this town oh we're heading to trade erect oh i've got three points so i could get a pack mule that's going to give me three extra spaces so that'll make a big difference. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to do it. Oh, I can get the next one straight away as well. Oh, very tempted. I wouldn't normally bother with pack mule as much as this, but because it's nomad play style, I really need as much inventory space as possible. What's that done for us? That's given us, well, it's given us another six. That's not bad. I think I can live with that for the minute. I might also still try and make a pocket mod. Uh, ooh. This is going to be tough. I'm going to sell those. Thanks for suggesting that, Medusa, because obviously I've got the bike now, so we might as well get the, the money for those. That's 300 dukes worth. Leather, duct tape, cloth fragment, and sewing kit. So I need to make some more duct tape. Okay, I can do that. I wonder if I can make two pocket mods. Let's do two duct tapes. They always come in handy. I'm going to get rid of the pipe rifle. I've got the pistol now. Um, keep the skirt. <laughs> It's really difficult to know what to take. I suppose the other option I've got is I could take some steroids with me. So if I go overburden, I could just shoot up some steroids to help me on my way. Yeah, I think I'm going to come back for some of this. If I've got room, I'll grab those. Uh, let's sell those. Um, yeah, if I've got room, I'll just fill up with, with the rest of that. But I'm just trying to prioritize at the minute. Okay, let's have a look at these pocket mods. So uh, I've got two of those. So if I go into B, where can I put them? There's no room on that one, so let's try the tank top. Yes, you can put one on the tank top, that's good. And the shorts. Yeah, we can get one on the shorts as well. Yeah, I've still got a few spaces. I think I might be okay, you know. Uh, I get an idea, right? I've definitely got room for those now. I'm going to take the... No, I'm not going to take the... guy. It's so difficult to work out what to take. All right, that's pretty good going. So I think I'll just fill up with the rest of the food. Okay, that's pretty good. Quick visit to the trader to get rid of this, uh, the stuff that I can sell. And then we're heading off to the new trader and bye-bye uh, to this little house. I'm stuck. So we had a wandering horde yesterday. And I, did, I don't remember what, exactly what time it was, but the, the mod is set so that every 12 to 36 hours, so the soonest being 12 hours after the last one, um, so we, we could get another one today. You just don't know. I was very lucky with that first one. They just walked straight past. Hey, don't come in here unzipped. Great. So we've got uh, 10,000 jukes to take with us. Time to move on. It certainly is time to move on. Well done. All right. We're going that way. Let's go. Cue the driving music.
I've probably forgotten something. I bet there's a few of you going, oh, why didn't you take the... No, no, no. <laughs> Crack a book there. And a chicken. Oh, that's pretty good. We're still in the pine forest. Stop staring. If I shake your hand. Howdy. So we get 625 XP for that. That's nice. No physical reward though, no cash or anything. Um, okay, well let's uh, let's take a job. House you'll old ranch. You just talk far too much. Let's get the guy robbed blind, and we'll see if we can sell anything back to him. And <laughs> just pulling the money straight out of his till, right in front of his eyes. Uh, blueprint. That's some good money. Anything else in here? Oh, that's fantastic. There's the blueprint for the workbench, so I'm going to use that. I'm not sure when I'll be making a workbench, but we'll see. As soon as I need one, then I'll just make it, but I'll get a land claim down. Good. Yes, I like the one about not tipping. Um, okay, there's a reason for that. It's because you're a dick. Let's get a storage crate out here. And I want to make a quick bedroll. I'll just put that here as well. There we go. Oh, Martha's got it. Martha, what are you doing in there? Get out of there. Naughty. Oh, look at them all outside. So I'm trying not to use power swings all the time. Oh, look at them all. Because, yeah, that was absolutely killing my stamina. Okay, let's just get these cleared out. I think it's just going to be a fact of life that in this, this playthrough with the increased zombies, that there are always going to be some hanging around outside. Because it's on four times natural spawn. So if you have a look over there, you can see the three just there. Uh, have we got anyone over here? No, that's not too bad. Okay, I'll chance doing the mission without uh, dealing with them, so let's get it triggered. Ah! Lost the surprise. Get him! Oh, need repairing. Oh, that's not good, is it? Hmm. <laughs> that's a great start. Right, let's get that repaired. Down you come. Come down here and play. Oh, man. Hmm. I think it's pistol time. Is it loaded? <laughs> of course it's not loaded. Oh, hell. Go, 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 go. Oh, run, 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 run. No changing than loading. There you go. You've got to change out of... Change out of the weapon if you're trying to get out the way and it's loading. Just change to something else. That was... I think Murph told me that. It's great advice. Lovely. Little blue bag. Let's have a quick look at that. Wow, look at all of that. Oh, that's pretty good. And um, we've got a yellow bag here, yeah, so we're already seeing the results of that uh, increase. Maybe a little bit too high. I'm surprised to get... Oh, it's more good stuff. Surprised to get as much as that so quickly. I'm just going to drop a couple of blocks in there just to slow them down a little bit. I'll close that door as well. Mm. 
really conscious of them upstairs. There's so Ow. Don't particularly want to be pinned down here. No one there. Great. Okay, we made it through to the goodies room, but I haven't got my bag yet. Okay, they're coming through. Oh, there's a few of them. Damn. Okay, think about this. Let's get my stamina right up. There you go. That was pretty sensible. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so three pot. Oh, there it is, right there. Brilliant. I can't tell if they're in the building or not. It's the tippy tapping. There she is. Oh, my God. I got a little bit of a surprise there, Martha. There's another loot bag. That's lovely, but I'm not going to have room to carry all this stuff. Let's dump the paper. And it's, uh, it's 20 past six, so I might have a look for somewhere to stay for the night. Trim going that way. Yeah, I better hit escape there because I'm. All I can oh, God's sake, man. Shut up. Well, that's as much as I can right, sell, so get... Oh, you God damn it. So let's yeah, get that and get quickly go back... Oh, Jesus, shut up. So i got 13,000 now, so I'm actually doing really well money-wise, so I'm happy to treat myself to something yeah, useful, if there is anything. Um, no, he hasn't really got anything. Wow. I'll get a clear gas station. All right, well, the gas station might be... Might be quite good for converting to a, a temporary base. Hmm. Trying to remember what it's like upstairs. This could be a potential temporary base. All right, let's get it triggered. Oh, it needs repairs again already. Quick, quick, quick. Which one's that? That one. Repair. I need to try and keep an eye on that. But they're not lasting long, are they? It's all these power swings. <laughs> okay, let's get the stamina back up. And we'll sort Martha out. There you go, Martha. She likes to be a part of things, you know. Let me just close that. There you go, don't thrust your crotch at me. Let's give my stamina a chance again. I'm trying to be sensible, I honestly, I am. I know it doesn't come across that way sometimes, but, uh, you know, I'm just... <laughs> I've only got nearly, what is it, 600 hours in the game, so I'm still learning. Uh, return to the trailer. So I have cleared the area, so the mission is a success, and I think that was the loot room. Uh, I'm not going to make it, but no, the, the trailer's already shut, so let's look at trying to get a temporary base going on. Stumpy. So I could get up in the rafters up there, where that box is. I don't know if this is a good place, but I haven't got much choice at the minute, so let's just, um, yeah. We've got the sprinters on. I didn't make it up to the roof. 
I'm just balanced on the side here. I'll get up there in a minute. Um, and we've got visitors. Uh, let me just have a quick look. Is it Wanderers? No, it's not Wanderers. So this is just the folks around town. This is just what the neighborhood's like now. Stay still while I shoot you. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't. I can barely even see what I'm doing. To be honest with you, it's so dark. In your feral. <laughs> get them go. I'm sort of stuck. This isn't the best place, is it? Oh, here we go. She sussed it. I'm going to run out of arrows. I've got eight left. We could probably make some more, but I can't move. I'm actually, I've got myself wedged in here. Um, yeah. Get that. Oh, there we go. That's better. Okay, I've got a little bit of breathing room. Made, I've got some stone arrows. Uh, 70, there you go, that's plenty. That'll keep me going, I've got 45 arrows now, and uh, I've repaired my things. I'm just going to repair that club. Actually, can I make a better club yet? I'm not sure if I can. Wooden club 2, yeah, we'll have a 2. That's something I don't often do, repair things before I sell them, and I, probably just because I keep forgetting about it, but I've just had a look at that there. The scrap helmet was worth, I think it was 92, and it only took a little bit of scrap iron, which I've got plenty of there, uh, to repair it. So I did a repair, and it's now worth 172. Um, so, yeah, that's that's something I should try and keep an eye on as well, um, which I don't normally do, but, yeah, I think it is worth doing. Now, I don't want to start beating on that, because I think they're just going to wake up again and come after me. Well, I've had a little explore. I've looted a few things down there, but I'm back up here because there are so many of them wandering around outside. It's just quietened off again. I'm tempted to go out and have a look, but it's the sprinting at night thing. Yeah, she doesn't know where I am. It's not a great spot, this, so I'm, I'm definitely going to find somewhere better just to set up a little camp. I don't really want to shoot them because I'm going to wake the others up and it's nearly four o'clock. If I can just get past the sprinting bit, then uh, I can make a move. I'm definitely going to find somewhere better than this because I think even with a bit of work, it's it's not worth the effort for uh, the time that I'm going to be staying here. I really feel like I should be whispering when they're walking around down there. It's so much more atmospheric playing it this way. It feels a little bit more real. I think if there was a zombie apocalypse, we'd be a lot more frightened about going out. And I think changing the adding these mods the way I have has, has done that. Increasing the amount of walking around town uh, and then the wandering hordes as well, but I haven't been attacked by it. I've only had one wandering horde, and when I was testing it, uh, the two that I saw both walked past me, so I'm sort of hoping that I do get caught, although obviously I don't want to. I would quite like it if 14 of them did come running at me. <laughs> I would get whooped, but it would be fun. Okay, so the running's off. Let's sort him out. So they're still out here, but at least they're not running. Oh, are you the one with the arrow on your back? You are. Great, I'll have that back. Thank you very much. I appreciate you looking after it for me. There we go. I'm stuck. Come on, go, go, go. You can do it. You can do it. Quick, before they get here. That's it. Well, there's another little garage. It's right next to the trader. It's not a particularly solid building, um, but... I could easily put some ladders up so I can quickly run back here, get under the roof. The same as the last little one. I don't think this is bad. The door's not bad. That's a destroyed workbench, but it's so there's some storage space at least. Got the house next door. Could maybe if things get bad, I could run over there. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll use this temporarily. This will do, I think. And I could do the same thing as before and just put some ladders up on the inside as well. I think that's worth doing. All right, let's get some ladders built and we'll do that. I'm not ready to accept visitors yet. Oh, we'll have your loot though. I mean, ideally what I would really like is a vehicle with loads of storage space. And what I was thinking I could do is I could put a land claim block down wherever I go, pull out a workbench, put it down, pick it up when I want to move on, that type of thing. That might work. Um, so where do I want these ladders? There we are. That'll do. So I can run back here, get up on the roof. With time, I would probably knock out these overhangs 
so they can't get underneath and hide. You know, like the bear incident. It's a destroyed workbench, but whatever, it's got all the storage space, so I'm just going to use this to put my stuff in for the moment. You know what I've done? I just made a campfire there and I've just reminded me I, I went and left the grill and the pot back in the old base so I might have to do a run out to uh, to get that and I'll just put the bedroll down down there that'll do or 109 mils Ooh, I think I'm gonna take the I've got plenty but I think I'll take the nine mils anyway so let me see your inventory and we'll get rid of these things. I'm going to sell that. Yeah, we'll get the whole 172. That's pretty good. We'll get the fetch quest and it's one of ZZ Tongs. That's great. So I'll accept that. Ah, I'm just waiting for you to talk you? shit. Yeah, I'm working towards a vehicle. So at some point, I'm either going to have to spec into Grease Monkey um, or see when, if and when, he starts having vehicles for sale. They're going to be quite a lot of money, but I'm not spending my money on a lot at the minute. So, All right, that place is a mess. It's supposed to be, though. It is a destroyed one. Apparently, when Zizi Tong made this, he makes the, the full one. Then he uh, blows it up with rockets and saves it as the destroyed version. And it works quite well. See, my live stream, the viewers remind me when it's time to drink, which is really handy. It's like having an early warning system. So my thing is upstairs somewhere. So the trick is working out how to get in. Uh, okay. We could get up there. Let's do that. There we go. And it's still higher up from here. Oh, there's some loot anyway. That's nice. Let's have a look at that. Oh, lovely. We'll use those. BDU top. That's nice. I'll fix that. I need to move the um, the mod from that one. Let's try there. And there it is. Wow. Yeah, a little bit fiddly to get up, but that was quite good fun. I like a little bit of a, a challenge like that. So there's our satchel. So we've got the stuff. Uh, return to the trader. Great. Wow. Yeah, that's that was actually quite uh, quite tricky, that. Off you go, Timmy. There's a good lad. A lot of rotten meat. Oh! Oh, he didn't get me. I can't believe he didn't get me. Timmy, you little bug. I'll just get my stamina back before I take this guy on. Yes, I ran over and tried to hit him and was out of stamina. I cut that bit out, though, so you don't know. Okay, what do we... Oh, look at that. Armor pocket mod. We'll have that one. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to grab another mission because that's just how we roll. So tier one fetch, it is farm number 12. Farm number 12, we'll take that. And I should probably put a land claim down just so I don't accidentally get my uh, new base as a, as a mission. There, and that should cover, I cover the garage and that house as well. So if I decide to move into the house, then I can do. Um, okay, so head to the rally point. Let's just get on with it. Let's just see how much damage we can do today. It's been pretty successful though. Found a little place to stay. I know it's not ideal, but it doesn't really matter. Oh, get the chicken, get the chicken. Oh, I missed him. It doesn't really matter. It's uh, it's just a temporary thing because again, when I get to unlocking uh, the trade routes for the next town, then I've got to move again. Because we've got that um, B-Dubs Vehicles mod installed and haven't looked at it yet. Uh, I did have a play yesterday on a, in a different game um, with the uh, the dirt bike, which was tremendous. There it is, a dirt bike. So that needs a workbench to make uh, two wheels, dirt bike, chassis, dirt bike parts. So the two specific things are there. I might get those from Grease Monkey. Let's just, out of curiosity, see if that information, where is it, is updated. Bicycle, so mini bike. I wonder if... Ah, uh, it's going to be that one, isn't it? Oh, what do I need for that? Intellect level six. Maybe I should start going that way because I've got level one. If I buy that, if I level up um, intellect, see, again, this is not a direction I would normally go in, but the way I'm playing the game is sort of pushing me that way. So it's a bit different, which makes it a bit more fun. So, yeah, I'd like to unlock the grease monkey. It's pretty expensive, isn't it? Let's make a start, and then I'm committed, um, and then I've got to stick to it. So, intellect. 
let's do that. And then Grease Monkey, um, I'm going to have to get that, unfortunately. Let's unlock level four. Yeah, really not keen on doing that because it's just, it doesn't seem right, but um, that's what's got to be done. So I need one to put into there, another two to level that up. And then another, so I need four, wow, four to get to the motorbike stage. But that's the way I want to go because I had it, honestly, I had to play with the dirt bike last night and I had such a good laugh with it. It was really good fun. It's surprisingly quick. It hasn't got massive storage space, but it's really quick. And we were setting up ramps and uh, jumping over the signs in uh, Navasgain, you know, the signs that, that are above the entrances to the cities, had a ramp set up and we're flying over the top of that. It was a really good laugh. So, um, yeah, I fancy doing that just for fun. So let's get this mission done and we'll see how we are for time. So what's this place? Let's just get on with it and we'll see we'll see what happens. Oh god, it's right there. We'll have your loot though, that's for sure. Grave digger mod, that's pretty good. A bit of food and some ammo. Can't close that, can I? No. Trying to get the headshots and not aiming quite high enough. There we go. Yeah. There you go. That's better, isn't it? Whee! Nice jump. He's obviously got a bit of parkour going on. There we go. There's my thing. That's great. Oh, level three. We'll have that, that's for sure. Oh, there's a few of them. Cheeky, cheeky. Hang on there, Pat. You're a bit excited, aren't you? Hang on. Uh, some level fours. Lovely. I'll just wear those straight away. Uh, oh, I just repaired them. Why did I repair them? Never mind. A plan. You know, that's the first time I was talking to somebody on Discord the other day saying about the plaster cast. I've never used it before. I've never even seen it. That's the first time ever playing this game that I have seen a plaster cast. Uh, tech junkies for sale for sure. Well, there's the cooking. Oops. There's the cooking pot back. So I might not have to go back to uh, the base. And there's a little loot bag. That's nice. That's not a bad level so far. I'm all right with that. Plenty of cash there and some bullets. That's pretty good too. Uh, yeah, so I've got a cooking pot so I can... Uh, I'm not really using the grill. So maybe I don't need to go back to the other base. Ah, the chicken. I cannot get the chicken today. Oh, but I can run him over. Where'd he go? <laughs> I don't know how many shots it took with the arrow. I cut it all out because, uh, you know, you've got to make yourself look good. Um, so, <laughs> he, yeah, I couldn't get him with the... Oh, damn, I'm full. Okay, let's get the... Hunter's Journal Wolves are common. Do 10% more damage to wolves? Yeah, absolutely. I'm using up the canned food just to get rid of it, and I'm saving the uh, bacon and eggs. You see it on my hot bar. For, um, for a sunny day, for a lovely day, when we have visitors. When the queen comes to tea, then we can have the bacon and eggs. An iron shovel, that's pretty good. Uh, more scrap boots. Yeah, not, not bad. Oh, let's just go straight back in and sell those. While I'm here, let's just get another job. Uh, we are really getting through these clear zombies fetch. And, oh, nice one. It's another ZZ Tongue uh, one. It's the radio station. It's the destroyed version, so I'll accept that. That'll be fun to have a look at. And we'll do that next time, because I'm going to leave it there for the minute. Um, so in the next video, I'm not sure if I'm going to add another mod, because we've got these other ones installed, and we haven't really seen all of the benefits of them yet. We've certainly seen the extra loot that we've been getting uh, from killing the zombies, and I think the balance isn't bad. It hasn't been an excessive amount of loot. Uh, I might be tempted to turn it down a little bit. Um, and I've checked out what it takes to get the dirt bike, which is what I'm aiming towards. Um, that would be fun to have. 
Um, so yeah, I, I might not, but if there's any mods that you think I should add or you, that you'd like to see me experiment with, then why not let me know in the comments and I'll certainly check it out. Um, and if I think it's a good idea, then I'll get it on the list and we'll get it installed another time. So thanks very much for watching and thank you again so much for all of the support for this series. Um, I wasn't really sure how it's going to work out. We've got some stiff competition on YouTube. There's a lot of YouTubers playing uh, Seven Days to Die and I don't blame them because it's such a great game. But I appreciate you sticking with me, the little guy, and I appreciate you giving my videos a like and the comments that you're leaving as well. Thanks so much to my patrons and I will see you again soon with some more nonsense in Seven Days to Die. Bye-bye. Oh, I must remember to drink. Thank you.